Hey, Damon, over here! Zhao called from somewhere to my right. I heard him, but unfortunately so did Li Yu and the others. I immediately turned to those that I freed. I instructed them to hide yourselves, and they all moved as quick as they could to get out of the way. Li Yu was walking toward me with a big ugly grin on his face, so I bolted to Zhao. He had his damaged eye covered with bandages and a leather eye patch, and I immediately handed him the puppy. Keep your head down this time, I told him seriously, and Zhao only nodded. I was hoping I'd get to see you again. That monkey girl won't save you this time, Liu said. I don't need any help, I told him snidely. Besides, I'm more interested in your sister than I'll ever be in someone as weak as you. We'll see how tough you talk when I present your head to Lin Yu, he retorted, drawing his glaive. I put a hand on my blade and took a defensive stance. Liu ran off to my right and vanished. I wasn't sure if he was simply that fast or if the darkness was giving him the cover he needed, but I was totally on guard. He came in hot on my left and swung his glaive from my lower right. I sidestepped it and drew my blade with a violent slash, but he managed to leap right over it. He pushed himself off a tree trunk in a bounding jump before vanishing a second time. I said, he's fast for someone so large, to myself as I lowered my blade. Then I took a deep breath to settle down. I only barely heard his running footsteps rush up from behind, so I jumped into the air to dodge his attack, landing on a high branch. You'll have to try harder, big guy. He smiled up at me and said, All right, just don't forget that you asked for it, before pulling out a small black orb that sparkled like starlight. 